a transgender dude named Dory decided not to change her name, but instead just listed her pronouns as Hunky. A bonus! <laughs> That's good. I haven't laughed that hard since I was a little girl. Thank you. And insisted, for the sake of reducing gender confusion, mind you, that everyone call her, I mean, call Hunky, Hunky Dory. Oh, you're not joking. That is, I mean, you have to call him, her, Hunky Dory, but like, if you're just referring to him, her, like with a pronoun, you have to use Hunky, but can leave off the Dory part. Otherwise, you know, what would be the point of the pronoun, right? Mr. Roboto is lying to us. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Open mouth kissed a horse once. Say what? Something you don't know. Like, for example, I met Hunky Dory the other day, and Hunky was happy. Did you hear I finally graduated? Yeah, and just a shade under a decade, too. All right. You know. Now, the plural form of Hunky, in case you were wondering, is Hunkies. A lot of people go to college for seven years. I know. They're called doctors. Not Hunkies, mind you, but Hunkies. It's totally different. Oh, that has to be you. Think for bugs? <laughs> but what if everyone in the group is not hunky? For the ultimate question. You. Me. Why? Like Hunky Dory. Like, can you still call the full group hunkies? No, I tried that. Why? 42 doesn't work. <laughs> Answer, yes. As long as Hunky Dory is in the group, the entire group should be referred to as hunkies, even if there's, like, ugly, unhunky people in the group. Oh, well, partly the curiosity, partly a sense of adventure. That's how it works. And everyone has to do it that way to reduce confusion. But, uh, mostly I think it's for the fame and the money. <laughs> everyone thinks you're deep. Win-win. 